a quick video on these cabinet doors. Um, I made I made some small errors when building this large cabinet door, uh, which I've built three times. Um, I actually figured a few things out. Um, one is when I go to uh, run the router uh, to inlay my um, plywood, uh, the number of fasteners, I was trying to use two or three fasteners. Now I'm gonna try to use one fastener and the wood glue so that my router doesn't touch uh, these spots um, because I was running into that. Also, probably not gonna inlay my wood until after I paint the outside since I want the wood to be natural and I want the uh, outside of the shaker style cabinet to be gloss white. Um, another small thing is I was using putty to fill the holes and I got these dowels um, to fill the holes so that there's less putty. Um, when I tried to tape this one off, um, some of my paint ran through the uh, ran through the tape, so I'm not going to make that mistake again. So I'm hoping uh, a little more production. You know, doing all my cutting at one time, all my drilling at one time. Uh, going to do all my sanding and painting and dowels at one time, uh, and then lay the natural colored wood in very last. Um, after I have uh, painted the frame of the door. Uh, and I really think that that's gonna help uh, not just like the outcome become better, but I also think that it will, um, I think that it will be faster. So um, like I said, I've built this door three times. Um, these cabinets uh, are gonna be going uh, these doors are going to be hanging on these cabinets. Um, there's a half inch overlay uh, with hidden hinges. Um, and I really think that uh, doing this the way I'm doing it now will be faster and hopefully my outcome will be better. I'm also just taking my time to care for the wood you know, transport it from the store and, um, you know, even doing my drilling on a piece of carpet um, uh, to protect the faces because the smallest chips in these corners create a giant problem when painting. Uh, as I noticed um, on this one, even a little tiny chip like that, very hard to get out later. Um, taking my time on the cuts because even a little chip like that, very hard to get out later. So caring for the wood a little more, you know, using the chop saw, um, uh, making things line up, taking a little more time, caring about the wood from very start to finish, really probably going to make a big difference in the outcome and how long it takes. Um, fixing mistakes takes longer than doing it right the first time. Um, I've never built cabinets or cabinet doors before. Uh, I just looked at some that had already been built, watched some videos, and uh, now I am uh, trying to do it myself. But really seeing how uh, efficiency and better outcome uh, happens from taking your time doing it right the first time, caring about the wood, literally. I was worried about it as I carried it out of the lumber store um, and worried about it being scratched or dented um, as I was cutting it, a little more gentle with it. Now drilling, doing it on carpet. Um, when I join the wood with glue, going to be using um, clamps uh, and try to eliminate that joint line uh, you can kind of see the reflection there. Eliminate the joint line without using putty um, to where the putty goes down inside the crevice, not ramping up from one board to the next. So I'm going to take my time. I'm going to work on this uh, more carefully. And 
I will post a video once I got this stuff all glued together um, and see if I can get through the putty process or maybe even try caulking. The, I have not liked the putty. <clears throat> the putty is long dry time. It doesn't paint very clean. Um, so back at it again. So we definitely worked on these for a long time. Uh, this time I chose to only put one screw in, uh, wood glue, and then uh, put the, the peg, the wooden dowel filler on the um, pocket screw. Uh, and then I tried caulking this time instead of wood filler. I really was not having very good luck with the wood filler or painting the wood filler. I think I will let these dry overnight. And then tomorrow I will drill the holes for um, the hidden hinges and see how that goes. Um, they didn't turn out amazing but they didn't turn out horrible either um, i also think that i will wait to install the route out the plywood uh, then paint then install the plywood after these are painted glossy white um, so that i don't have to tape off my plywood and other than that they should be pretty ready to install Spent a lot more time trying to get these um, to be smooth while building them and not damaging them in hopes that it'll save me time when it comes to painting.